Welcome back to IGN Live at Comic-Con. Back in the 1950s and 60s, Project Boo Blue Book was a series of top-secret government investigations into unidentified flying objects, but earlier this year it became an original History Channel show about those very investigations. Here to tell us about Flying Saucers, Little Green Men, and whether or not the truth is, in fact, actually out there, please welcome the stars of the Project Blue Book, Aidan Gillen, Michael Malarkey, Neil McDonough, and Laura Minnell. Hi. Thank you. I how yours is phonetic. Thanks for there. having us. Thank you for joining us. Um, so season two, you guys are just about, you just started shooting? Yeah, we shot week, yeah. about a First week. week yeah. yeah. Can you allude to anything that's, that's happening? Or is uh, yeah, I mean, we're going straight back in with a bang. And, uh, you know, all of our episodes are based on real cases or real things that were reported in the 50s and beyond. But, you know, we're in the 50s at the moment. So we're straight in with a couple of biggies. Well, one in particular, our first two episodes will center on... Uh, Roswell and the mystery that still, uh, you know, exists around what happened in Roswell in 1947, and we're examining, examining it, examining it from six years out in a novel way. Oh my, so I was gonna, uh, I want to talk about current events a little bit here. There's a big thing going on right now about Area 51. Mm -hmm. Are you, have you heard about this? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. What do you make of the plan to raid Area 51? Well, you know, I, I, I love that the government is basically saying, please, just, just don't do it or else we're going to have to do some serious harm to whomever feels like doing it. So that, that they're doing that, they must be hiding something, you would, you would think, all these years. And, but me, my character in the show, you know, I am the government, basically. And I'm, my job is to make sure that uh, the American people don't know about the truth of the situation. The cool thing is, though, is, you know, the, the show is so topical. Right now, there's all this stuff in the media about, about it all, and we're kind of in with that wave, which is, which is great, and I'm, I hope it does bring more awareness to yeah. what's, what's really going on. There's this whole unwritten history, you know. It's actually written, actually. You can find it, but um, we're not taught it, but it's out there. Do <laughs> you think they should start teaching it in school? They should, yeah. UFO case studies. UFOs 101. <laughs> yeah, we'll teach it. Roswell 101. Has there been anything while making the show that's made you just go... Is that a handsome guy? Oh, whoa. Like, what's, is there a, a piece of information of, of sort of, you know, UFO culture that you're like, oh, that's, that's creepy? Oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, the abduction cases are the ones that always, uh, you know, have always tweaked my interest uh, the most. I'm kind of fascinated with those. And like the Barney people... and Betty Hill yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, pretty... yeah. Especially when you get down to, like, hypnotism and people remember more about, like, what they totally blacked out on. That's a little... Creepy. Well, I, I give you the ones that stick to their story, you know, forever for the rest of their lives against ridicule, you know. But I think all the stories. I mean, what, what History Channel and A and E have done is they've they've allowed us to really jump into, you know, a discussion that really hasn't been on television at this level before. Mm -hmm. So for us as actors, you know, with the characters, they're fantastic, you know, characters to play. But with that backdrop of UFOs and aliens and. Uh, it, it's a great time for all of us uh, to be part of a show just like this. Well, and also jumping in with the Roswell case, that was such a huge case. And so many people in that, well, in Roswell had some, they saw something, right? Whether they were, you know, people that saw even just that, those little bits of debris in the field and were stealing, what's it, the memory metal? They yeah, well, you basically, what, the whole thing with that is they, the, the cases are that um, they could take this metal, ball it up in their hand, and not even realize there was something in there, and let it go, and it would reform itself completely. Yeah. And there was many, many it, different instances of people who had experienced this or saved bits for themselves. And even there, there's loads of people who saw bodies as well, you know, alleged bodies. That's I'm, I feel like the, you know, there's this, like, oh, eventually you'll sort of get the, the straight answer on that. We get like little tidbits here and there, but it's still, it, the more you find out, the weirder it gets. Uh, now, you, you're all experts on identifying unidentified flying objects. Uh, I have some, uh, some blurry photos taken with a bad camera, and I was hoping you could help me sort of oh, no. <laughs> identify the truth here. Uh, yeah. We have one image here. Are we looking here? Pull this up. Here we go. Now, this is, I know this, is, this was taken on probably... <clears throat> Someone who's very frightened. Uh, it's a, it's a bit hard to see. This is. Uh, it, it's that looks like some of my kids yak on the wall or something. Oh. I'm not sure. Vomit? Am I close? That was that warm? I know warm? what it is. Is what that Batman? It Superman. It's Superman. You're right. Superman. I was. Come on, Superman. Gillen. Are you that good? I mean, well goodness done. gracious. You were here before. You, you saw it. You saw it already. All right. So <laughs> you know, there's lots of Superman all around on the ground here. There's less of them up in the sky. But uh, here's one that. Uh, another that one. Does Take to the skies here and there. Dumbo. 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 Oh. Oh. That giveaway. Killing again. Yeah. Spotted a mile away. Now here's a, here's something a little a little bit. Uh, one of oh, Dragon. 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 Yeah. You're good at this. I mean, that should be a no-brainer. Boy, how did Aiden get this one right? The Harry Potter dragon. Oh, is it Harry Potter? Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Well, come, come on. Zeppelin. Hint, uh, yeah. Is it Led Zeppelin. 
<laughs> no, they, that would never fly. Is it a particular? Uh, it's a. It's frequently sighted above major. A good year. Good year, blimp. Oh yeah, good year. Good year <laughs> this was blimp. too easy. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. All right. Smattering. What's that? Whoa. Oh, like a. Mm. It looks like, like a, a dolphin. Pikachu. You're getting. You're getting warmer. Sonic. It's like a Sonic. Sonic I like runs. that. He doesn't fly. Give me hey, Sonic. Well, you never know. It looks like a F-16. That's what I thought it was. Too, but it looks oh like yeah, yeah, I can totally jet, see that. Yeah, this would cross with a porpoise. You get, you get. I think the. Is it a kind of a fish? Pikachu is getting warm there. Okay. <laughs> it's a, I don't know poking. It's poking. Pokemon. An animal. I know poke bowls. I think he it's needs a flying fox. Ah, oh my oh. gosh. I got that just squirrel. Flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. Somebody in the comments. Oh, that's a sugar glider now. A Christmas tree bobble. What? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of unidentified flying object. It's something. Moon? Uh, a water, I mean, a fucking water balloon. <laughs> nice. Uh, language. language. Good. 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 Very good. Uh, uh, a hot air balloon. Boop. It's a weather balloon. Weather balloon. False alarm. I should know that. That's like, we should know that. Totally fine. Well, thank you for playing along with my very, very stupid, goofy thing. No, it was fun. Uh, no, it was, it was, is there, uh, is there anything? the most fun we've had today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there anything you want to tease about uh, Beyond Roswell, about, about season two? Um, I think we can say that we hit another big one, kind of, by episode three, and it's straight in with two uh, big cases that people are familiar with, uh, and Area 51 is the other one. So we'll be Very nice. looking at Area 51 for, on episode three. Area and 51 is Something which is very hot and topical yeah. and uh, of, of the moment, yeah. Basically, it starts with a bang. You know, there's a lot of big, big subject matter as well as visually, and also the, the characters, um, I have a lot more dynamism. We delve into backstories. Neil's character has has some, some many layers, uh, some more layers. And, and Ksenia's and Laura, character Ksenia has a really character interesting character and, and mine story. have a, a bit of a mix. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I mean, we're, we are hitting with these big cases, but with season two, what we're what we do have a chance to do is just get deeper into character and you know just find out about the people themselves. And all of our characters are based on uh, they're all based on real people, you know. Um, so we're just finding, we'll find a little bit more about who they, who they really are, you know, so uh, just the minutiae of character. Beautiful. Against yeah. big backdrops. And then, you know, terrifying conspiracies. And That's right. All of that stuff. All in one show. Great stuff. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Uh, another Thank season you. of Project Blue Book is just around the corner on uh, history, but right now we're taking a short break. IGN Live at Comic-Con. We'll be right back. Keep watching the skis. Skies. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.